Welcome back, everybody. Happy International Women's Day to all of you and to you, Virginia. And you as well, Nana. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so we're going to talk about women in beer, uh, which is, you know, a great thing that we're seeing more and more ladies like yourself mm -hmm. uh, with breweries. I mean, this is awesome, but we want to see more of it, right? <laughs> we do, in fact, yes. So my husband and I, Marty, started Second Chance Beer Company about nice. six and a half years ago. And yeah, it's been amazing being in San Diego and being a female and mm -hmm. having the Pink Boots Society here be so active. It's really supportive community. And check out these cans. I love them. Yeah. Velvet Boots is the name of the beer that Second Chance brewed. Yes, brewed okay. in collaboration for International Women's Month yes. and with Pink Boots. With Pink Boots. And this is a fundraiser beer. Yes. So <laughs> the best kind of beer. I know, because then yeah. you drink it for a cause, yes. right? <laughs> yeah, so a portion of the proceeds go back to the Pink Boots Society, and the Pink Boots Society is about educating and inspiring, and so giving scholarships so women can get into craft beer or advance within craft awesome. beer. That's great stuff. Uh, let's open up a can, if let's you don't mind, because do we have to taste the beer while we talk about the beer. Do. Uh, what kind is this? So this is a pink guava sour oh, okay. ale, so Berliner Weiss base, and then it has real it pink is. guava juice, and a little tart, but a little sweetness pink to balance. Guava. It out. Just like a lot of ladies, mm. right? Mm, right? <laughs> yes, cheers beautiful to you, and blush. And cheers mm. to International Women's mm. Day. I mean, it's definitely worthy of raising a glass. Mm. Indeed, it is. Mm. Mm. Don't you wish you could have more uh, if it wasn't like uh, 8.30 in the morning? I love it. I was going to say, we can taste it for sure mm -hmm. at this time. Um, but that is delicious. Thank um, you. And obviously the reason for, you know, creating a beer dedicated to Pink Boots, tell us about Pink Boots. I mean, obviously it brings women together and you have these scholarships, which is great. Uh, but how important is it to just see women come together to drink beer, talk about beer, learn about beer? Well, women like create the world, right? So <laughs> we need to be everywhere and we need to have our hands in everything. And, you know, more people, more diversity in craft beer in more inclusivity just makes the industry so much richer and so much more fun, yeah. right? So yeah. celebrate women all day long, but especially <laughs> this day and this month of March. Yes, of course. And I will say, I mean, I, being in San Diego, we've been to many, many breweries and there's more women that I'm seeing, you know, pouring the beers, talking about the beers mm -hmm. and it's so fun to talk to everyone about it but it's definitely evolved when you first started in this industry take us back was it challenging to get in was it like a man's world well, I mean, I started the movie, so it wasn't <laughs> right, as right. challenging, you, right? Yeah. I do recognize that that's a very privileged position, but I remember, like, you know, women, there weren't many that were coming into mm -hmm. tasting rooms, and they certainly weren't coming in by themselves or with a group of women, and yeah. so that's so exciting now to see that happen regularly mm -hmm. in the brewery. And, um, yeah, I mean, just having other women around to support you and, and understanding there's so many opportunities um, for women in mm -hmm. this industry. Uh, so I think, ladies, if you're curious, give me a call. I can give you the scoop. <laughs> I know. It, gone are the days of like, oh, no, 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 I don't drink beer. I just drink wine. Like, that just doesn't, I don't hear that as often anymore, nope. but I certainly used to, uh, where women were almost afraid to, like, try them and yeah. try different varieties. Yeah. Uh, when for women first were coming to you, were they confused about beer? Like, why am I drinking this or no? No, I think they were more just, you know, they were scared to ask questions yeah. of men behind the bar because they didn't want to be made to feel stupid, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, I always ask women, well, what do you like to drink now? Because if you tell me what you like to drink, I can meet you where you are. Right. Like, this beer has a lot of wine qualities. It has, like, a little bit of a kombucha yeah. taste, yeah, right? Yeah. It's not your light American lager right. Bud Light type beer that's, mm -hmm. you know, kind of flavorless, right? Yeah. So there's so much more to beer than what you know, people, I think, historically mm -hmm. thought of it. And let's not forget there's like a science to all of it. To Absolutely. making beer, it is a craft, literally, and it, there's so many, you know, obviously elements and the, the equations and the things yeah. that you see. Yeah. I mean, that part's not easy. No, it's not. And, you know, my husband, our brewmaster, Marty, yeah. has an actual master's in awesome. brewing. Marty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he went to school and, and he knows all of the science, mm -hmm. but it's also so much an art, right. really. Um, and, you know, stuff like this, I, I must say, like, I have some inspiration here, yeah, too, yeah. because just like beer should be fun. It should be fun. And it's fun to experience like <laughs> guava in your beer. I mean, right. that's awesome. And you, Marty did a great job working his magic yeah. with this one. Uh, I've <laughs> seen a few, a handful, I will say, of female brewers in San Diego. Yes. Uh, Bru Mujeres Brew House is one of the first that comes Absolutely. to mind. Absolutely. Because they get together with ladies and you can go there and talk about beer mm -hmm. together, which I love that. And she really is so like in tune with people's describe what you like and she really like feels it so oh, there's yeah. that feminine aspect to making the beer that even Absolutely. makes it a different level 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that is 100% true. And when you put your heart and your soul and your passion into something, whether it's actually putting the grain in mm -hmm. the bill or just yep. being behind you know a computer and making sure we get on segments like this yeah, like yeah. it shows in the flavor of the beer that's amazing uh, where do you hope to see the beer industry go I mean especially here in San Diego what do you like to see uh, happen here as we evolve I just think more um, diversity more mm. colors more people of all you know ages sexes races um, you know mm -hmm. LGBTQIA+, like just right. more people. People need to understand that beer is for everyone. Yeah. So here's to the ladies and here's to everyone else being <laughs> in beer. Inclusivity, yes. it brings people together. I mean, I can't tell you how many great friends we've made just by talking about beer, like you yeah. in Virginia as well. <laughs> uh, like you instantly have this connection. Uh, and I will say, I mean, just seeing more and more women involved in it, that makes it you know just exciting more yeah. fun for us ladies right to and more out. welcoming right yeah like more you welcoming. see people <laughs> like yourself behind the bar yes. and in the brew house yes. and in the marketing and uh, before we do have to go though tell people how to get this beer how can we support pink boots yes so this beer is available now at both of our tasting rooms you'll find it in the market uh, next week beginning here locally in okay. san diego and we're having a release party at both of our tasting rooms nice. in carmel mountain ranch in north park on thursday this so, thursday yeah, yeah and so celebrate the entire month and you'll Absolutely. get a we get to get a four pack and drink it there at yep. Second Chance. Second Chance Brewing, by the way, just to give us a little bit of your mission, there's a lot of layers to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Tell yeah. Tell us about that if we could. Yeah, so, I mean, what we're really uh, about is giving second chances, and mm -hmm. near and dear to my heart is to pups. So yeah. we work with local dog rescues, and then, of course, we're all about female empowerment and inclusivity awesome. as well. Thank you so much for joining. Right. Great Thank to you. see you. Cheers to everybody.